Colorado 3, do you copy? Roger that. Colorado 3. Uh, uh, that there. I want to back up what he's saying. Uh, I spent a lot of time out at Fort Irwin. Uh, they bring troops in from everywhere, and that is a constant 30-day rotation. Um, so activity in that area being that you're two hours away from that post uh, is pretty common. Um, I wouldn't get overly excited about that. Uh, other than that, uh, I, I, I keep your heads about you. Uh, That's all we're the area to there with military and with Apaches and with the Blackhawks, you gotta you gotta realize the area that you're in, and that's all I'm gonna say. I'm sitting here in the hub of military in Colorado, and there is zero activity. And I just want to make everyone aware of that. Uh, that's for exactly what we're looking for. Confirmation. All I know is that I saw uh, a few formations of helicopters and jets going westbound out of Whiteman Air Force Base. I guess the ETA is over, but uh, the, the attorney the attorney did say that uh, birds coming out of Whiteman were headed towards Texas, but there was nothing coming towards Kansas. So I don't know if they turned around or what, if they started going westbound and went southbound. But uh, I guess that's an all clear for now. Order one permission to speak. Go ahead, sir. Okay, you guys also need to reference uh, FAAVFR sectionals, and you can see printed on those. There's what's called a MOA, a military operations area, and there's there's places that people aren't used to looking at airspace, and there may be military training routes that have regularly scheduled flights to where these military aircraft can fly in a manner that isn't consistent with civilian aviation. And I think you guys are sitting under one, so you may be under someone's normally scheduled military training route. You know, you uh, hear normally uh, scheduled. Uh, I, 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 is, this, is this a drill of sorts? No, the, if you look on, a, on an FAA VFR sectional, you will see gray lines that are labeled, they're really light labeled, and they're called MTR. It's called a military training route. Or you could be sitting in what's called a MOA, a military operations area, where it's restricted airspace for use for military that's been there, that's there all the time. It's not there because of you guys. I live five, four miles from Whiteman Air Force Base, so and the activity I've been seeing is not normal whatsoever. Permission to speak. Uh, 4335, you just keyed in. Go ahead. Yes. Can you hear me? That's all you, sir. Yes. Uh, uh, this would be Director for Stuart Road or Oath Keepers. Has anybody ever considered the judicial advocate generals of the military? The ones who take what about Nellis Air Force Base? That's where the drones come from. Like, does anyone have eyes Hello? on Nellis? Sorry, I, I hate to interrupt. Sorry. Yes. I was talking about the military police, our military that took an oath to defend us against enemies domestic and foreign. It seems like a lot of this is, uh, is foreign-born and it's not of the United States. Uh, the, new jet, the, jet, the judicial advocate general that are in all the branches of the military. And the beauty of it, it only takes one-third military and two-thirds uh, civilian or, or inactive to make a tribunal. These people know what they're doing about constitutional law. Yes. So I think that the military uh, police could be involved in this. And I think Stuart Rhodes knows how to direct this because there is enough disgruntled people in the military now to make this happen. Yes. And bring this down upon all the perpetrators of the Constitution. And this would be the starting point of it. Permission Hello? to speak? You know, there's certain things uh, under regulations that you guys probably can't answer on for you, those of you that are active duty, but for those of the, the rest posse, of us... Are, go ahead. The Posse Kamikata Act, the active duty military, we will not act on U.S. soil. A active duty well, military will not... Will not I don't know the, the judges after the generals. I don't know if that's, that helps a different thing because they're, they're, they're upholding the constitutional law. 
you know, you may have to form a uh, vigilante committee or a citizen uh, arrest and have these people back it up legally. But it can be done because they can represent us legally and, and, and bring this house of cards down. All right, I'm getting a lot of Carol, feedback noise again. I'm gonna, on that, okay. uh, response. <laughs> One moment, and I appreciate you. You're lined in, in two and two. I need a couple other people to star six themselves. I'm getting a lot of background noise again. Uh, go ahead and press star six to mute yourself out. If you really need okay. to chime in, then that's when you press star six again. Uh, try, to, try to wait your turn. Everybody's being real cool right now. They got people going in and out, but they're forgetting to press star six when they come back. Uh, I also want to say that uh, there's, there's a couple uh, of numbers, suspicious numbers that are on this line right now. Um, you know, this is open forum, so you can say what you want to say, man, but uh, let's keep it down to a civil roar. Uh, I know a lot of people got a lot of things to say, and this is awesome that it's turned from uh, just a small personal conversation with my commanders from Illinois, and uh, we opened the doors to a lot of other people, and it's just blown up uh, to, to quite some thing. I think this is kind of cool, kind of historic. Uh, I definitely like to repeat this again. You know, we, we could turn this into something that, uh, you know, the people are speaking right now, and, and we need to know what's going on. And uh, we've got all branches that chimed in, media people have chimed in, uh, boots on the ground have chimed in. We've got uh, people from reservations have called in. So it's really kind of cool to see this kind of action going on online. Uh, I'd like to carry this further. Uh, we've got a couple anonymous callers, and, and, and uh, just to say the word anonymous, if you guys keep trying to hack me, men, uh, that's not cool. Uh, you know, I'm working on the same program the good guys are too, men. So if uh, you want to keep fucking around with, with my IP, uh, I'm on proxy now. So if you guys want to keep playing games, I know where you are. Um, my phone was already dripped into. I'm on a secondary phone right now. Um, but it, right now I, I can tell that I've got some protection from some good guys as well. But I just wanted to kind of step in and say that, again, if you're not speaking right now, I need you to press star six and mute out. And I'm sorry to interrupt you, sir. Go right ahead. Uh, active duties, uh, stay online. Uh, Com, stay online. And security, stay online. This is Charles. Permission to speak on the last response? Sir, you're calling in from a, from a commercial uh, cell phone. Is this, uh, is this your handy phone, sir? It's, it's commercial and also my name is Charles. I'm in San Jose. So um, I am a civilian. Uh, on that gentleman's uh, statement on the, uh, uh, for example, um, if there is a confirmation that there are foreign-based entities, does the governor know about this, and has anybody been in contact with the governor concerning it? That's all I'm going to say. Uh, that's come up a couple times. Uh, we, you know, we've got all kinds of, uh, you know, different spectrum of people with different capabilities on this call right now. I would put out to some of those keyboard warriors out there if we can get some confirmation on, uh, I mean, you guys could Google that stuff right now. I'm, I'm a little busy right now. But uh, if somebody yeah, else wants to confirm what the governor is doing right now, uh, I'm, I'm going to resort back to what we say at my workplace is GTS, bro, Google that shit, all right? Uh, if, we can, if we can get somebody online, uh, I can talk to the governor. Okay. This phone call is going to be open for a while, but I, that's going to come up. Um, we're still working on getting Sheriff Richard back on the phone here. We've got some guys that uh, I've got seven com lines open right now, and three of them are still in. Two of them are not heard of, uh, and we've, we're expecting one to chime in about 15 minutes ago. Hey, by the way, sorry to interrupt everybody. Diana, are you back on the, the phone call? All right, that was boots on the ground. She's actually headed to the reservation nearby that supposedly – uh, has offered some consolation to weary travelers headed in that direction. Um, they're on federally protected land, which I think would be a good idea. It's approximately 10 miles or so away if you want to look at your Google Maps. Um, we've got the uh, phone number for that group that has offered, but uh, we've already put that out a few times. Uh, if you want to chime in and get on this conference call, it's been going for two days uh, at uh, this phone number, this same access code. Everybody's got their permission to pass this to any patriot that uh, no, wants to know what's going on. Uh, I'm going to give you a minute. Just a minute sir. Uh, I just had to kind of spit that in and get the playback number one more time. It was 559-726-1399. And you would use audio key pound 9790, I'm sorry, 9762 for this portion of the last phone call. Uh, and you can go back into that one to get the previous uh, phone call uh, sections that we've been recording this entire process. And uh, I definitely uh, want to put out there, please go ahead and keep sharing this to other patriots or anybody who's got some sort of uh, positive media attention and uh, 
we need some cool heads out there because there's a lot of hotheads headed there, and we're trying to kind of point everybody on federally protected property uh, as we hear that uh, there may be some arrests. Uh, some people have been let go. Uh, Texas and Oklahoma specifically, if they can chime in, that'd be great. Let us know how people are getting treated down there. If you've got any access to any locals out there, get them on this call. We need boots on the ground and people that can uh, let us know if they're getting pulled over, harassed, wh what's going on. You know, the way I see it is kind of like a dartboard, man. Uh, right now, everything in the inner ring is uh, pretty much, uh, I'm going to throw out there, probably be a, a no-go zone for now until we can get boots on the ground that can verify a path from, uh, you know, the... Uh, triple points out to the double points and uh, okay. I'd be watching state borders and main routes and I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut my mouth and, and continue to listen. Illinois militia permission to speak. Uh, Missouri one got a report uh, from Barstow. Uh, yeah, there's been uh, uh, Missouri one. Uh, Illinois, you got in, in one minute right after this guy. All right, Missouri one. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, there was uh, some unmarked cars, unmarked police cars heading up in that direction, about 10 of them as well, heading up the same uh, I-15. And uh, But the route, since the other lady said she didn't spot nothing later on after the ETA, it, uh, there is a highway, Highway 127, that goes north, and then it turns off on... Um, 170 or 372 in Nevada, and then you can get into Clark County from there. So that might have been the back road that they were taking. But that's all the updates I got for now. They may be moving in more later on tonight. From Missouri, one. How long do you plan on staying on this call? Uh, till it ends. Uh, Missouri, one. I'm about to contact you privately via text. Uh, I just promoted you again. Uh, I'm giving you administration capabilities for this call. I might have to drop out and handle a couple of things outside of this conversation. And uh, I need somebody to, to quickly figure out the software that I'm using. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty good with computers, too. Yeah, I can tell, man. Uh, I'm about to hit you up directly, and uh, I'm going to give you some information. I need you to call back in and use that information, all right? All right. My, you, you go ahead and stay on the line for now and hang on for that call. Missouri one, you still there? Yeah. All right. Sorry, uh, Illinois, you were next. Yeah. Um, I just got a question. I um, received an email from a friend of mine, and uh, I'm, this, this might be old news, but it says the, something about the feds are sending uh, 100 DHS personnel, MRAP vehicles, two Humvees, and the rest have. Mounted machine guns and armor plating. Whoa, 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 I'm Missouri. Missouri, that's me chiming in right now. Yeah, about 15 to 20 came in through from the southwest. About 15 to 20 armored Humvees, fully manned with the 50 cows. Before, as well. So, I mean, if they're coming into the DHS, that might be where they're coming from. Is through Southern California. So they so I don't know. Confirmed? It's, but they must have took a back road because we we didn't get a second confirmation. I'd like to get in line. Uh, permission to speak. Uh, Illinois, the gentleman that was just on the phone, two one seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, 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 right. Uh, hang, hang on a second. Two, two, one, seven. You and me. Uh, you know me personally, correct? Uh, I don't know if yeah, I can go by. All right. Hang on the line. I'm on the phone with Missouri. You know not go by? That's not good. Don't fuck the stop. Permission to speak. It would make. It would make sense if it's DHS. Can anyone hear me? I'd like to get it on. Well, it was. It was, it was all right, here. If it's this information is hijacked from federal comms by other federal workers, it wasn't a public announcement. It was, it, you know, it was actually just like intercepted from regular federal workers. And uh, it's the Fed at the time that this was said about DHS were saying that that 
they were scared because there's 30,000 spent militia that have been headed, um, to the, the private the Bundy Ranch to oppose the Fed. So I don't know if that's why they're they're sending uh, the DHS. I don't, I don't know if that's uh, circumstances, you know, but if it, it has been confirmed for sure. Who they talking? No, no. DHS is scared. Permission to speak? I also have received that message that Missouri is reporting. Yeah. They start arresting people and shit out there? Missouri's going to fuck three, four militia. Dude! Permission to speak? We'll have to back down. Militia? Missouri's got what? Sending militia. Missouri's got a big militia, too. Permission to speak? Whoever's asking for permission, go ahead. We've lost the moderator for now. Yeah, that that was me. I, I had a couple of questions. I, um, I run a news website myself, and I'm also in contact with a lot of people that run Facebook pages. Sorry. We'll hear questions, so we can see if we can confirm. Over. Uh, basically, I was just trying to get uh, some info that, and, and find out something you guys might want out there. Uh, uh, we, you know, we we're trying to just cover it in a special manner, so I was trying to get a kind of idea of, of some of the things that, that we can go ahead and report things that have confirmed. Okay, I had a really hard time hearing you. I was trying to answer every right, question. Sorry, I'm and I, uh, I got. I had to handle a couple of things. I, I I apologize for cutting loose there for a minute. Uh, Illinois, Brian, are you, you still a, there? Two one seven. Are you still there? You have a gentleman. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Uh, two one seven. Are you going to be on this call for a minute? Yeah. Permission to speak. Two one seven. If you can stay on the line as long as you can, you're in Illinois too. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm giving you some authorization to say what you need to say when you need to say it. Uh, and two more people chiming in. I'm going to have to mute people out. I got a heavy breather on the phone. Some guy's beating his wife, and uh, I hear a dog barking in the background. So if, if somebody could press the dog stick, I need you to press the dog stick. I need you to press star six on your phone for the last four people that said permission to speak. I need you to go ahead and press pound six and then chime in after the next guy done is in line. I'm about to mute a whole bunch of rude people that don't understand what star six means. Be a civil person on a phone call with a variety of other people from different important military and authority backgrounds. Uh, you know, we're just trying to make something happen and make sure it's uh, a good thing and the right thing. Uh, Again, one more time, I hear you yelling at your wife, brother. If you could be courteous and press star six on your phone right now. Uh, obviously, you have nothing impertinent to say, and you're kind of getting on my nerves. Cause you're about one morning away from getting dropped from this call. If you have not star six yourself, if you're not part of the cons team, if you're not part of the operations team or the security team, I need you to meet yourself out right now with the star six, or you might get dropped from this call. We got you know 300 some odd people here. Heading towards 400 again. Uh, we are recommending that you know you know any patriots or people that are involved uh, to go ahead and get in on this phone call. Uh, Illinois two, did you say what you had to say? Do we put diesel yeah, two? That, I said what I had to say. Right now, I'll uh, I'll stay on the call and stay in touch. All right, can you start six yourself, brother? Uh, all you guys that are on comms, uh, I, I please also and pay very close attention to what you're hearing besides this conversation because we're getting a lot of feedback. As now, now somebody's kid's crying. Uh, I, I'm going to just keep muting people out, and I'm going to end up muting out people that do have something important to say. So again, Why don't you on. put this on Q&A mode? If you're in free conference HD, you can put it on Q&A mode, and then that way if I'll someone has a question, they can hit star six to raise their hand, and you can unmute them. That way you don't have all this noise. So wait, I, I, I have that capability. If I go to that mode right now, how does somebody queue in that they want to next speak in line? They hit star six, and that basically makes them raise their hand. And you'll see it if you're looking at your computer screen. They have a hundred players on there. You get refilled. Oh, I like the hell out of that. So, all right. 
Now we're going to try something new, you guys. Again, we're still recording this conversation. Um, I'm going to repeat one last time. The playback number, 559-726-1399. The current call is still being recorded with key code pound 9762-POUND. Um, this went for almost what was it, five some odd hours uh, up until this morning from yesterday from 8 Central, and uh, we're doing it again today. So now I've got people actually politely waiting in line. Uh, we had a big open forum that worked really well for a while, but uh, I'm going to take this to Q&A for a little while. Um, I'm going to try to get the right people in communication with the right people. As of right now, I've got a uh, 9322. I'm going to open up the call for you. Uh, all right, nine three two two. You're in queue to talk. Did you have anything to say? Oh yeah, I just had a friend of mine who went there today and gave me a little update on what happened. Go for it, brother. Um, she said it was the the feds were really quiet all day, and um, towards dark, uh, Mr. Bundy came by and shook her hand, and they cooked. They cooked up some Bundy beef and had a good dinner. And then she said that as night fell, the helicopter uh, started flying around. And um, she saw lights from the feds. Uh, They were roaming around. Um, They said they were putting up listening devices. That's about Uh, it. That's what she said. I thought people would like to know. Uh, now you've got definite confirmation of someone that was boots on the ground that's saying that they're planting listening devices on top of the already known monitoring systems that they're using? Yeah. 10 4, buddy. Uh, anything else you want to chime in with? I got a lot of people in line right now. No, that's about it. I'm the guy that called earlier to ask who you were, and I also friended you on Facebook, or I, I messaged you and asked you to friend me on Facebook. Uh, I'll, I'll get to it, man. <laughs> I'll get All to right. it. I, I, look, I got a couple people to remove and then a, a whole bunch of patriots to add in the near future. All right. Have a good night. I appreciate you, brother. I'm going to meet you out, all right? No. All right. We've got a uh, next one in line. Uh, wireless caller 1851. You got something to say? This is a patriot from Texas. Um, I've got a friend that's actually on Facebook right now. I've been listening for a while. He's from uh, the Central Texas Militia. He's actually wanting to join in on the call, but I cannot find the uh, passcode to get on. I was wondering if I can get that. Interesting. How would you get on? I actually saw it on Facebook, but now I can't find the link. Uh, okay. 559-726-1300 uh, is the phone number. And then 552-251 uh, is the way to get in. We've got about 30 people that are in line right now to speak. So uh, You said 552 five, five, what? I'm sorry, that was uh, not 552. It was 276125. Thank you, sir. All right, go ahead. Next guy in line, I've got a wireless caller as well. Disengage uh, 9978. That is your last digits. What can I do for you? Yeah, I'm in uh, Southern Illinois. Uh, I was just looking, wondering how to get involved with my local militia unit or whatever's close to me. Uh, I've looked online a little bit, but not had good luck. And I was wondering if I could get some information on that or the best place to start looking. Uh, like they say at work, man, Google that shit. Cross-reference Illinois Militia, and you'll find us, Illinois Sons of Liberty. First ones that pop up, we've got a .com site. You're more than welcome to sign up. And uh, there's some information you have to give us just to get comfortable with you. Show up at the meet and greets, and we'll be happy to shake your hand. All right, beautiful. Thank you very much. Thanks for what you're doing. Ten four, sir. Uh, next in line, I've got a wireless caller, 4902, chime in. Hi, this, this is Justin from Western Arizona. I'm a patriot following this situation very closely. I've been ready to head out there myself, but I've been kind of hanging back to see what develops. Um, my question is, with all these protesters and people out there, why are the bunnies not requesting everybody get together, go out, retrieve the cattle, bring it back to their property, then let the federal government come to their property and try and seize the cattle? 
Obviously, that would cause a volatile situation, brother. Although I understand your logic there, it's a pretty confusing situation. Uh, we were supposed to have actually someone who was on the line with uh, the wife on not too long ago with Carol, uh, and uh, that person seems to have disappeared. So maybe they were blowing smoke, maybe they lost connection, but uh, we would like to get some confirmation of some recent reports uh, directly from the family so we know exactly, you know, what page they're on. All we know right now is that obviously all they wanted was peaceful protesters and a little bit of backup, and it's turned into something else. We don't even have, as far as I know, we don't actually have uh, anybody who claims to actually be militia from that state chiming in with this call right now. Uh, we've asked for it for the last, what, 24, 48 hours, and uh, we've got nothing. So, you know, although there's people locally that are chimed in, I cannot confirm or verify if they're considered militia. We'd like to get more reports from the locals and, and ask them, what do you want us to do, man? We're on your property. As of right now, uh, we're recommending that people head towards the nearest reservations about 10 miles away. Uh, we've got an office number that should be back up here in the morning, uh, 702-865-2790. Supposedly a tribal office is uh, uh, recommended that they come that way for some refuge as long as they can bring some extra supplies and hold their own. They're more than welcome there. As long as they're showing respect and keep their guns down, uh, the tribal guys are willing to look out for them. Is there anything else I can answer for you? Yeah, absolutely. The Bundys have done an excellent job gaining national recognition with the media. Got a ton of patriots going out there. We got militia forming to head out there, so to say. Um, you know, politicians from my state of Arizona are heading out there Sunday afternoon to meet and greet Monday and uh, <clears throat> share their views and comments. But the whole thing is, is Mr. Bundy has given us, we the people, a reason to stand up and fight the government. So I don't understand the peaceful protest. They got to say what they got to say on TV, but they're really telling their sons and brothers and cousins and aunts, I hope all these people do crack it off. Yeah, we're pretty much trying to avoid that, man. I appreciate your comments, well, but uh, well, no, I we're understand. Trying to, well, we're I trying to prevent a, a possibly quite volatile situation. You've got, you know, millions of, uh, of brothers like us, you know, that are pretty damn frustrated. There's a lot of sisters that are chimed in that are pretty damn frustrated, and uh, you know, the, like I was saying before, you know, the, and this is, like, our avenue, frog, this is our avenue. This is our avenue to take our country yeah. back. I understand, and the temperature is being turned up right now. We're just trying to handle this like a peaceful nation, a uh, respectful nation, and uh, a nation that can get on board. You know, uh, There's plenty of soldiers that are uh, chiming in that uh, I believe uh, take their uh, constitutional oath very seriously. Uh, we're trying to get more of them on board to chime in with us, and uh, you know, we're hoping at least they can report to their superiors, especially the active duties, that they don't want this to happen it's kind of a point where you got to draw a line in the sand. We need to know what side you're on. Are you American or are you anti-American, man? And uh, we all I'm see that. We all American, know that. I'm anti-government. I'm sorry? I said I'm an, I'm an American. I'm a proud American, but I'm an anti-government American. Uh, ooh, I mean, I mean, I think all of us here agree right now. And uh, yeah, did, did you have anything else to so say? See, I've the got big about problem with me is... The big problem with me is and why I 110% support this cause is it's not just about the Bundy's Ranch. It's about Pismo Beach, California. It's about the Glamis Sand Dunes in the Imperial County, California. It's about federal reserves, and this is our land, this is your land, and we have to pay fees to travel through Yellowstone National Park. Even if we're not visiting the park, you still have to pay tolls to travel on certain roads. I mean, give me a fucking break. This shit All right, but come to a head, right. and it's... I'm, it's time for these people to stand up. It's time for action to be taken. It's time for these people to go out, get his cows back to his property, stand up for the man, <clears throat> let him That's stand pretty much up what's there. Going on, He's got to be politically correct. He's got to be politically correct to keep the national attention on him, and he's got to ask for a peaceful protest. But just like me, you, and all the other 3% are out there, know damn well he does not want a peaceful protest. Uh, I would kind of agree, man, but uh, we're, I'm going to move on to the next caller. I appreciate your oomph there, man. Ura and uh, God bless America, and, you know, it, we're, all, we're all feeling the same thing you're feeling, man. I, I'm just as frustrated as you are. We're just trying to make sure that, you know, there's just no bloodshed. We're all uh, humane, uh, intelligent, uh, technologically advanced beings with opposable thumbs. I think we can figure out who's, who's causing the problem, and it's not the people. All right, we've got people that are great. obviously... 
over uh, over overgoing their bounds right now, and people want to show that that's just not right, and we want to let them know, hey, we don't want you to do it here. We'd like to do this as peacefully as possible. Back down, go home, and uh, we'll handle our own. We need the governor, we need the sheriffs on board right now, and I agree with you. Uh, I'm gonna well, I, just want to add the, I just want to add you did a great job trying to uh, wrangle all the naysayers in a little bit earlier before you started the Q&A. And for good buddy. All right, I'm going to let the next caller in. You're under the guise anonymous, so I skipped you ahead of a couple of people. When you come in anonymous, I'm a little bit hesitant to let someone talk. So we're going to give this guy 10 seconds. You better make it nifty. You came in anonymous. Here you go. Hey, how you doing? Listen, uh, my name is Archangel M. Porth. No, never mind all that. I'm, I'm from the site America Wake Up Before It's Too Late. We have a lot of people that follow our information. We also multitask with with over 200 other pages. What do you guys need there? Talk to me. All right. Uh, I'm going to resort everybody else back to the uh, playback number for the last few calls, 559-726-1399. Uh, uh, got a lot of things we've covered over the last couple of days, uh, pound 9762 is going to be the way to hear the beginning of this conversation, and the beginning of this conversation is going to tell you how to get to the uh, previous one. Uh, anything else you wanted to interject, brother? What state do you represent? Uh, multiple states. Uh, we're, we're definitely all over. We have a lot of uh, patriots that are involved with our page, and uh, I'm just right now my, my thought is, is really bad because of this, uh, this stuff with the DHS coming in. They've been uh, looking for a reason to, to get this thing to start off, and I really hope this doesn't turn into another Waco. I got a feeling it's heading that way. I, uh, I highly agree with that, brother. Um, all right, uh, I'm going to have to close you down and move on. We've got 36 people in the queue right now. Is that cool? That's, that's cool. We'll try, to keep, uh, we'll try to keep listening in the background here. I hope you don't mind that I did come in anonymous. Uh, it's obvious why I did that, but... Um, we're going to keep in the background. We're also going to get the other the other line going, and we're going to try to just keep the information current and see if we can get some of our people your way and whatever you need out there to help you out. Okay. Uh, if you can spread the word for us, we're trying to recommend that people contact in uh, local tribal lands. I got a phone number. Uh, I'm going to repeat it again for people to use. Um, it's seven zero two eight six five two seven nine zero. They're actually offering. Uh, uh, at least what we've heard is that they are offering to uh, take in any refugees, which we're trying to deter people from actually hitting the ground zero right now, um, bring supplies and whatnot, and be respectful. You're on somebody else's land. Uh, right. You know, I'm asking people to treat my uh, Native American brothers as good as they can. And, uh, you know, they're going to look out for you, and they totally understand. They've been there before. Uh, you want to talk right. about taking, pe taking people's land. Uh, it's time for America to kind of maybe show them a little bit of, uh, hey, look, yep. now we understand. Yep. And, uh, and Let me ask you just a quick. Out. I'm sorry, I apologize for interrupting you. Let me just ask you a quick question. Once, uh, if we do have any kind of members coming in, once they're on uh, tribal land, they're basically they can't be bothered by uh, anything passing through. Is that correct? Um, they're overstepping a lot of boundaries right now, man. Let's hope they don't cross that one. Right, I got you. Thousand off Native Americans and Americans with guns. That's not what they want to do right now. We're trying to get everybody to stand down, and that's the big move. Military chimed in. There is some activity, but it's not necessarily <clears throat> uh, relating to this. Unfortunately, they're in a zone that, uh, that they were conducting some transfer of personnel and uh, kind of look weird. But uh, I've got a comms guy that uh, just chimed back on. Uh, I'm going to open up this call for a minute and let my comms guy pop in. Go ahead, Missouri 1 or Colorado 1, 2 or 3. Yeah, I got a sound. I just think that I'm sorry to hear. Is that one? This is Sonia. I had one of the messages. Go ahead, go ahead. Press star. All right. Sorry about that. Everybody who was in the Q&A session, it looks like you just got reset. I apologize greatly. That's the first time we've used Q&A. You just got yourself back in the queue. If you press star six right now, it looks like you put yourself back in the queue. I totally apologize for doing that, man. If you've been holding for a while, I feel like a total schmutz right now for even pushing that button. 
I'm trying to coordinate how I can talk to people that are, uh, in, you know, in a certain line of uh, <clears throat> chain of command right now. And uh, everybody else that just got kicked, man, totally forgive me. You know, poke me later. I have totally apologize. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and, and just start doing the Q&A again. I'm so sorry for that. I know you're punching the phone right now. That's all my fault. Uh, my bad. Next question. Heather Tate. Heather Tate, you're in the Q&A. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was still muted. Um, I'm also from a um, Facebook news page called WTF America. We also received the same um, message that the feds are sending the 100 DHS, MRAPs, 21Vs, mounted machine guns, etc. Um, I just wanted to reiterate on that, that yes, we also received that message, but also do you think this is ever going to come to any kind of fucking good thing? Because Henry Reed, or I'm sorry, Harry Reed already sold the land to the Chinese to do his little solar. All right. Uh, solar what plant. kind of confirmation did you have on that report as far as MRAPs and such, ma'am? Is that something um, I said? That, that was sent, that was sent uh, as an email to the main admin of our page, which she uh, passed to the rest of us admin. Do we have a source? Uh, she didn't give a source. She just posted it on the page, and she said it was uh, an email that she had received. Okay, yeah. But, uh, we're trying to get some boots on the ground type information when we're hearing about possible MRAPs. You know, we've had some conjecture here already. Uh, we're just trying to get actual confirmation, so I apologize for, you know, toning people down on that last comment. Um, it's a possibility. It's quite possible. But until we actually have somebody who totally saw it, has a picture, conjecture like this, it isn't working really well with this conversation. If you forgive me, uh, I respect your uh, underground media company, but uh, we can't let people panic on something like that, you know, as of right now. Uh, Absolutely. Anything else so I can move to the next caller suite? That's it. Thank you very much. I appreciate you chiming in. Thank you. Uh, we've got another anonymous. I'm going to let you guys get out of the way first. Go ahead. 10-4, this is a Southern California. I'm calling in just to tell you what I've seen locally moving out of here on uh, the 118, which connects to the 210 freeway, which then connects to the 15. Yesterday we had six uh, Humvees, fully loaded, uh, men with their battle gear on, uh, cannons mounted on them. They had, the, they had the 50 cows on them. They were followed by uh, five personnel vehicles, and then about 30 minutes later, two Chinooks flying about 200 feet off the ground, buzzed straight through along the same path. All all right, um, northeast. You're, you're now California too, brother. Um, are you willing to give out a phone, or are you hiding that for a reason? I'm keeping it out, but uh, you can. You know what? Um, you can reach me I'll, on my I'll, Instagram account, or uh, through, you know, I don't my think, business page. Buffalo Arms. All right, I'm gonna, all right I'll, let's go with an email. I apologize for putting you out like this, but uh, comes one in Missouri. <clears throat> if you could grab a pen and grab this gentleman's uh, phone number. Uh, this is, uh, you are now California 2, got it? Roger that. Can you spit out an email address for uh, Missouri 1? Yeah, uh, buffaloarmstrading at gmail.com. Buffaloarmstrading at gmail.com. Missouri 1, I really hope you're writing that down right now, brother. Say it again. Buffaloarmstrading at gmail.com. Buffaloarmstrading at gmail.com. And uh, you are now California 2. You don't have to say your name, brother, but... Uh, I'm praying that he emails you here in a second, okay? 10-4. Got anything to report? I need you to chime in to him. Uh, sounds good. 10-4, good buddy. I'm going to move on to the next caller. Anything else you need to add? Give me a, give yep, me a ooh-ah or something. Give me a ooh-ah. Come on. Brother. God bless America. Ooh-ah. Something. Ah, all right. Next guy. Uh, last name with a V, uh, 5768. Go ahead, Dennis. Hi, I, uh, I own a company in Arizona. Uh, my company designs and develops uh, civilian use unmanned aerial drones. I just want to say that uh, we're trying to organize a trip up there. And uh, I know the FAA has put a TFR out, a temporary flight restriction, uh, three mile radius of that area up to 3,000 foot above ground. We're looking at Dennis, uh, organizing. I need, I need, I need, a, fa I need a favor from you. Program. I don't mean to interrupt you, Dennis. I need a favor from you. Yes, go ahead. Uh, we're, we're, we're actually looking for some sort of uh, person put in that position. Are, are, do you play, do you, what are you doing in the next 48 hours? I'm actually uh, working in my shop right now and getting some of the drones ready. We're trying to organize a trip up there tomorrow evening. It sounds like you already have the lifeline we're looking for. Can I put you in charge of that uh, situation? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I need uh, One main thing that I need you to do, is there, there's a Gadsden. Uh, we mentioned it earlier. Uh, 
Oh, it will come to me. Uh, Gedson. Uh, hold on. I know I wrote it down. Give me a second. Gadsden Air Corps. Can you say that, that about Gadsden, like the Gadsden flag, and then Air Corps, spelled corpse, C-O-R-P-S. Okay. Uh, these guys are definitely uh, on the up and up and have a lot of aerial capabilities. I think you guys need to join ventures. Uh, they're, they're two main personnel up front that has a large network uh, that seems to have the same skill set as you're offering at the moment. Uh, I need you to do your best to find the guys in Air Corps and uh, anybody else on this call that can handle that. I, I need you guys to kind of put that together right now. Um, if, if you could work on that, uh, what, you're offering something that we need. So. Uh, he was the next man that, that was handling that, and uh, I think you guys need to coordinate. If you can find the guys in Air Corps online, uh, do what you've got to do. I don't really have much other of that right now other than that I know he's in uh, southern Indiana. Okay, no problem. I'll go ahead and Google that. I just wanted to mention that uh, we're trying to organize a trip up there. We're going to bring in some drones and try to get some aerial coverage for, uh, for civilians here, and, and at least until uh, they tell us we can't fly anymore. All right. I'm also going to be hitting you up directly here in a uh, couple minutes uh, via text. Uh, I need you to go ahead and reply back and let me know that we're a go, okay? All right, no problem. Have a good night. Thank you. You bet. All right, I'm going to move on. Next caller, uh, that's a weird one. It looks like you must be on Skype. Uh, a 718, I'm going to unmute you. Go ahead. It's uh, Waterfly. Uh, actually, it's WTFRLY. Uh, that stands for what the f really uh i, I run my uh, i run my own news site I, I was actually um i was asking right before you came back in and put it on q and a uh, i was basically asking if you have a kind of stock body of info that you want to at least get out there i, I know you've covered a lot of things about what's confirmed and what's not i'm just actually trying to you know do what what you're talking about about putting out solid confirmed information to uh the people on Facebook that want to help, because like you said, there is a lot of disinformation spreading. So um, uh, I'm actually I'm actually recording this myself. So if, if you have anything that you want to, like I said, uh, get out there. If you have a quote or if you have any, any whatever it is you want, whatever info you want people to know, I'm, I'm getting ready to write something now. So um, uh, I'm not sure how many people found this call. We've got a large call tree that went on, an internet tree, and there's concerned citizens are popping up everywhere, man. Uh, the best way to find me right now, I just exceeded my maximum on Facebook. But if you type in uh, free the people, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is delete a whole bunch of people that uh, haven't gotten incomes with me in the last year or so, and uh, go ahead and add a whole bunch of new interested patriots, man. Uh, if you just type in free the people, hopefully I pop up. Uh, my last name's a Polish mess, but uh, I should pop up if you type in B-R-Y-A-N and then space free the people, all one word, I should pop up. Add me, follow me, bro. Uh, stay in comms. Uh, I'll get to you as soon as I can. All the people that just are adding me right now, I can't get to that at the moment, so I'm sorry if you're not catching updates. But I appreciate any anything else you wanted to throw in, brother? Uh, let, let, let me let me see if I just understand what what you guys have confirmed now and, and want to get out there. At least I guess uh, there's you, you don't have a particular number on how many people on how many militia are heading towards the site. You do have uh, that that Native American land that you said uh, about ten miles. Uh, we're st I'm still trying to get some people to chime in with me directly. Um, I'm going to have to pull off the Q&A in a minute, and it's going to get really haphazardous real quick. What I'm going to need everybody to do is when we flip back out of, out of q and I need to go ahead and have you all quickly mute yourselves. Uh, we'll give that about 30 seconds for all kinds of chaos, and then uh, hopefully it tones down real quick. And I need uh, comms, uh, security, and I need the other guys to, uh, from aviation to go ahead and unmute themselves, and we need to talk again. Uh, if you need any reports, we've been, we've fell back on that. But uh, as far as updates, man, uh, the inner circle we're recommending that people not go right now. We had reports of give or take uh, 200 some odd people. Um, we're, we're really pushing for everybody just to come as a peaceful protester. As of now, if you just happen to be uh, you know armed uh, in in defense, uh, that's one thing. But you know, don't come balls to the walls. You know, come peaceful. Uh, you know. Look up the laws in the local area. And make sure you're adhering to them for the most part, so you don't cause anybody any trouble. And uh, you know, if you see any instigators, man, we need to call them out. Uh, we are recommending that people at least contact or uh, get a hold of the uh, that local uh, tribal information uh, uh, 
I've got right in front of me. We just don't have anything confirmable because I switched to Q&A mode. Uh, I can't even tell at this moment with so many people on the call if, uh, if, if all the comms guys are online regarding uh, boots on the ground for the, uh, the tribal reservation, although we are recommending that people at least try to go there first before they go to Ground Zero. Does that help? Absolutely. Uh, what about, uh, I'm looking at your profile now. You can find me, I sent you a request uh, on facebook.com slash conspiracy factious. Um, so you, you, you can add me. I've been listening for about an hour and a half. Um, I found that on Facebook too. I, like I said, I was just, uh, I work late into the night. Um, I basically run a 24-7 uh, international uh, news site about this, trying to keep you know, current information out there. So, um, you know, that, that's that's the reason that I was asking is because keep it up, like, man. I mean, any say. patriotic American right now that's got my back, I got yours, and that's all we're trying to do right now is let people know that hey, there's a lot of concerned citizens that are making sure the right things going on right now. Like I said, it's 2014, man. Let's be civil about this. Uh, we need to find the people that are doing the wrongdoing and call them out, and we need sheriffs and governors on board. So. If anybody well, else I'll, wants I'll to, I'll probably be up till, till the sunrise. So you know, um, I'll be right. listening on the call at least until I go to sleep. So, uh, what 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 would you like me to do? What what, what can I do? Uh, get more people online. Uh, contact more media groups if you can. And uh, you know, if you know anybody's going out there, I tell tell them to head to the reservation nearby. It's about uh, ten minutes or ten miles away. Um, do, do we have a name uh, for the reservation? Because I I caught the phone number earlier, the seven zero two number. Yeah, like I was telling people, just GTS that man, like they say at my work. Uh, Google that shit. Uh, the, the phone number again, seven zero two eight six five two seven nine zero. If you want to type in also reservations Nevada, you're most likely going to find it. Uh, Google Maps will take you right to the ranch, and if you look within the uh, area, you, you'll see what you need to see. And uh, I'm going to move on to the next caller, brother. We got thirty five people in line. Thanks. All right, uh, William. I'm sorry for the wait, brother. What can I do for you? Hey, this is Brian from the OKDF here in Oklahoma. Okay, okay, what's and, up? Hey, uh, are you in comms with any of the guys that recently uh, were, were uh, inhibited in travel, so to speak? Yes, uh, they're heading out first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, let's see, I think six to eight men are going, and I think three women. All right, can you tell them to come as peaceful protesters if you're in communication with them directly, please? Oh, yes. They they know it's a peaceful protest. Uh, they do carry weapons, but, you know, they know how to use them and when to use them. Uh, so confirmation, Oki is sending some guys out. Uh, if you can, man, I need a rep from Oki. So I believe you just became Oki number two. Uh, first guy hasn't chimed in today. He chimed in yesterday. But uh, if you can... Um, if you can chime back in if you got anything we need to know about the guys that got arrested that were from OK, uh, handed out or headed out to uh, Nevada. If, uh, if okay. you can do some research for me from the locals, bro, chime back in and let me know what's up, all right? Not a problem. Uh, I'll probably be up all night trying to get more information on this. And we're Absolutely. also sending down to Texas uh, for that ordeal. All right. Uh, Just let anybody know who's traveling. Anybody who's traveling through state borders, become cool and collected and uh, look up the laws on, on, on guns and ammo and munitions and such and make sure you're not doing anything federally screwed up right now. All we need is some, some retard to go pop off. Right, that is exactly what we're trying to avoid. Um, and, yeah. you know, we've, uh, can you confirm raise level in Oklahoma, by the way? Excuse me? Can you confirm a raise security level? Uh, we've got a lot of guys from DEF CON 4 to DEF CON 5, uh, and then everybody went up to DEF CON 1 overnight. Yeah. Uh, let's see, OVM, uh, Oklahoma State, uh, okay. Defense Force. Just let, you know, let the hot know to calm down, man. We're just trying to let you know the, the the state handle itself. That's a civil way to do this. They want it back up, so we need peaceful protesters. Obviously, there'll be a lot of Second Amendment groups heading that way. Just everybody needs to keep cool, and uh, we're hoping that maybe we can get them over to the res first as a uh, like I said, a, a parade point so that they can kind of uh, avoid the inner circle right now uh, until right. further notice. Ten four. Um, there's also a website on Facebook, uh, Militia Leaders. Yeah. Uh, just go in there, click on that, uh, admin will add you to it, and we can correspond that way also. 
uh, I, I don't fully trust that avenue right now, man. But uh, if you could send me a message, and I'll get back to that later. Uh, basically, right now my Facebook looks like a, looks like an operator switchboard from the '70s. All right. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, right. Yes, uh, uh, one of my one of my guys asked me to call in. They just need a rep from Oklahoma to call in. So. Right, we um, appreciate y'all time, man. I try to get more guys on board. I know you guys got a pretty good network out there. Uh, you know, as long as they're peaceful, cool people, hot, not hot heads, and uh, you know, trying to do the right thing, I, I want them on this call. You got it. Not a problem. All of our guys Thanks. are calm, cool, and collected. I That's appreciate that. We are uh, very disciplined. Point them in my direction, man. Free the people. Uh, All right, I'm that. gonna move on to the uh, next caller, my man. All right, have a good one. Stay safe. God bless. Thanks for coming. Wow, this has been a really cool conversation, you guys. I appreciate seeing so many people chime in. Uh, unfortunately, my uh, internet just froze up a little bit, and I need to switch to the next caller. That's nice when that happens. Uh, Missouri Comms 1, when you get a chance, go ahead and use that data I gave you and get chimed in here. Uh, if you can actually uh, use your resources while I'm frozen up. I'm going to have to chime in from my laptop. Bear with me, people. Looks like that might be a, another attempt. That really sucks if uh, you guys can't all talk right now and you're stuck in that mode. All right, not cool. It's just fixed up. All right, hey, uh, William, are you still on the line? Uh, I disappeared too. Hey, it comes to if you want to call me back. I have to take you on the other phone. Comes one, you can give me a call too if you're having issues, man. All right, bear with me, people. We're having some technical difficulties. Looks like we've got uh, other unwanted people chiming in right now, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, bear with us as we, that's what I thought. Hey, on the line. Hey, Tom. Uh, I'm uh, not with that uh, secondary number to help. Okay, he won't be in on the next. He'll have a call at the top. That was the last All right, hang on the line. All right. Uh, <clears throat> looks like we can just change this down and give it another minute. You guys were just waiting for uh, the Internet to uh, do a little reboot. Uh, Comms one, hold. 